Hello everyone, this is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be talking about and discussing the Sinister Swarm. And before we get started, I hope that everyone is doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good and staying safe myself. And I and I also want to announce that today I have made a Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you may. Uh same name, Buckbeak. So and it's Negan's picture. That's my picture. So you should it should be pretty easy to find me if you wanna follow me there as well. And let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Sinister Swarm. Hello, survivors. There is no better word to describe many of the famous Walking Dead antagonists than Sinister. You can pick up gold mythic versions of some of your favorite baddies and former baddies here in an all-new month-long event sinister swarm let's get evil <laughs> okay so obviously the event event has started already today on monday april the 12th and the event will end on may the 5th so pretty much almost a month Over the course of the Sinister Swarm event, you will need to collect walker hands, walker hands, okay? A limited time roadmap energy item which you can earn via tournament rank rewards. Oh, I wish it would have been milestones. But anyway, throughout the event and via a daily login... Once you have acquired walker hands, take them over to the new Sinister Roadmaps. Finishing Sinister Roadmaps will earn lighters, which can be used in the gray market for Gold Mythic Negan, Governor, and other awesome rewards. Upon finishing the three primary Sinister Roadmaps, two additional roadmaps will become available. Beyond Sinister and Members Sinister. Beyond Sinister is a reoccurring roadmap which will provide a way to use any additional walker hands you acquire from uh, for additional lighters. Members Sinister is a Survivor Club, Survivors Club exclusive roadmap where members will be able to acquire two times the rewards of the of the Beyond Sinister roadmap by using red keys acquired during your Sinister 3 run. Note that r red keys will be available in limited quantities via gameplay, but can also be acquired via offers in the shop. Okay, the Gray Market Shop, as you can see here, we can get with those lighters. We can get Gold Mythic Negan, Gold Mythic Dwight, Gold Mythic Governor, and Gold Mythic Alicia. And we also have the Silver Random Tokens of the Fast, Alert, Strong, and Tough. I don't know why it's random, but I guess if you're going after a Pacific trait, it really doesn't matter, I guess. So I could see that being a positive. Then we have the legendary gear choice box. Mythic gear choice box. Armory tokens. A Brady. A Burt. And select recruit tokens. And the choice box contains one double hoister. Hockey mask. Band. Magazine. Bandolier. And a welt stone. The Mythic Gear Choice Box, one bulletproof vest, tactical gloves, spotting scope, and a leg hoister. And here's the roadmap breakdown. Sinister 1 requires Mythic Fighters grade 1 or higher, and the difficulty is mid-nightmare. 
So no battle items or continues, you know, once all your tunes get taken out, you have to start from scratch. But I'm sure a lot of players know how the Nightmare difficulty works by now. And I'm just slowly going to scroll through here. The energy cost and the rewards there. This is for Sinister 1. Then we have Act 2. Which seems pretty much the same here. Okay. Act 3. Okay, wow, we got a Act 4. Act 5. <laughs> Okay, Sinister 2, it pretty much works the same way, except your Mythic Fighters have to at least be Grade 2 or higher. So here we go, it's going to pretty much work the same as the first Sinister. If I am scrolling too fast through that, I do apologize. And Sinister 3. Again, Mythic Fighters have to be at least Grade 3 to be able to do the third one. So it pretty much works the same. <laughs> Let's see... Yep, it doesn't look anything different except it's, you know, you're getting more lighters. Beyond Sinister, okay, here we go. Beyond Sinister happens every two hours, you know, it pops up every two hours. Mythic Fighters have to at least be Grade 4 or higher. Sinister 3 must be completed to unlock it, so... It seems like you might be able to do them out of order by the wording here, but I'm not really sure. I could totally be wrong on that. A member Sinister. Here we go. Okay, wait a minute. Before we get to that, note, as this roadmap recurs every two hours, make sure to unlock this roadmap with enough time for you to complete it. If the invisible ir interaction, <laughs> I know I said that word so wrong, of the roadmap is about to, yeah, the time, timer, the timer of the roadmap is about to expire, we recommend waiting for the reset to pass if you aren't confident you can complete it in the time remaining. Okay, here we go. Members Sinister. The requirements are the Mythic Fighters have to be Grade 4, at least. Sinister 3 must be completed to unlock. You have to have the Survivor's Club membership and one red key, which I'm definitely not going to be able to do members Sinister because I do not have Sur Survivor's Club membership, so... That one will be out for me. And it looks like the energy cost more. But it looks like you're going to be able to get twice the rewards based off of it. Okay. Alright. Which tune I'm going to go after? Well, it's really simple for me. I'm getting my second Negan. If I can... I'm definitely going to try to collect at least 200 lighters so I can get the gold mythic Negan so I can tier 5 my Negan I use now because Negan is a better leader than Rick in my opinion. That's just my opinion. <laughs> but there's some other, I think some other decent choices in here. Gold Mythic Dwight might be alright. Uh, I hear a lot of people think that Gold Mythic Governor might be pretty good. And then you have uh, the Gold Mythic Alicia. I, I, at least I hope that's Alicia. Uh, but the Revive Medic Tough Tune, I hear that she's pretty good too. I've had a little bit of troubles with the Alicia Tune on raids and such like that. But then sometimes I've been able to take her out pretty easy. 
depending on the teams I've faced, but definitely I want to get gold mythic Negan so I can tear up my current Negan right now because he's turn currently at tier four and they have updated the quantities. It says one, but um okay, never mind, here we go. You can get two of them. I noticed that. Okay. Maybe it didn't really update nothing. I just didn't notice it until now. But if, say, you don't have Negan for whatever reason and you want to get him to tier 5, this is a good opportunity to do that because you can get two of him from here. The same thing with Dwight. If you want to tier 5 him, you can get two Dwight's. You can get two governors from here, and you can get two Alicia's from here as well. And honestly, for the silver random tokens, I'm not sure. It just depends on which, you know, what's happening with my roster at the time, and if I have any lighters left. Um, but my number one priority is definitely Gold Mythic Negan for sure. I want to be able to get him to tier 5. That There's no doubt about that for me. I think this might be a somewhat good event. Not like super great or super terrible, but I think it might be good. Hopefully the roadmaps won't be too difficult on us. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about uh, this event, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about the Sinister Swarm event, or tell me which tune you want to go after, or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated. And to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome. And I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and a magnificent week as well. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. And like I mentioned before, I just joined Twitter today. So if you want to join me and follow me on Twitter, you may. And I would very much appreciate it if you did, if you want to. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.